that you know, is uh, trying trying to figure out, you know, uh, you know why, you know, uh, it's like you know, trying to figure out uh, why Rudolph has a red nose. You know, why Rudolph the red nosed reindeer has a red nose. You know, unlike the uh, Santa's other reindeer. Yeah, so, <laughs> okay, uh, okay, you got me there, yeah. Mm. But, uh, you know, but no, I mean, you know, um, you know, look, you know, fugitives will do anything they can um, to stay on the run. And uh, obviously, you know, that means stealing cars, you know. You know, even though that may be the only crime they commit, you know, they will, uh, if it means staying on the run, they will actually steal a car. They may not carjack somebody, but they will certainly steal a car. You know, uh, which is why these people, which is why you hear law enforcement continue to say and continue to beat the drum of not leaving your valuables inside, not leaving keys inside when you go uh, uh, somewhere. Uh, and locking the car door when you exit the vehicle, you, you, uh, you, know, you know, I mean, it's, it's a classic example of beating that drum. And as you heard him say, you know, the director say, you know, they're going to prosecute, uh, they're going to uh, process that vehicle for everything from fingerprints to, to the blood. Um, right. Because, yeah, yeah. uh, you know, if that person, uh, you know, because uh, if, you know, Brian Patino, you know, he didn't commit a murder. Somebody did, you know, and uh, somebody probably did, and that somebody probably had that vehicle. So they're going to make sure that if there's any blood at all, they're going to get a sample of that blood, and and uh, and get it uh, and get it processed so that if there was a murder at all that took place in that car, um. If there was a murder at all that, that took place in that car, um, you know, uh, you know, they they'll 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 get some closure of it, uh, of that, and whatever. If Gabby's murder took, you know, that took uh, place in that car, uh, which is not real, which I, I can't really say is likely or unlikely, but it's. Uh, yeah, it's more unlikely than likely that he'll, of course, be immediately charged. But it's not real likely that that that, that will that typically you know, that will happen, um, right? You know, but uh, if anything at all, you know, obviously somebody you know, there's there's a fairly good chance, though not always, that somebody had to be murdered. Uh, or killed to get that car. Um, then again, it may have also been stolen just the same w uh, in the same way that a you know, person uh, uh, just by somebody getting in the car and stealing it. You know, you know, stealing it. You know, whatever. Marcia, I th I think um, they're going to find um, they're probably going to find blood. In that vehicle, it's probably not Gabby's, unfortunately, but it'll be somebody's. Um, either way, some closure will be brought to someone. I think uh, you know, I think we can pretty much predict that. Keyword: predict. Uh, you know, uh, there of course is no guarantee that they'll find any blood in there. Uh, but they'll certainly find fingerprints, as you heard him say. You know, there's, uh, as you heard him say, you know, uh, Brian was caught with that vehicle. He was caught in the seat of that vehicle. Now they're just going to climb the ladder and find who stole the car. And, uh, and charge him with whatever crime that, that uh, occurred. Right. That uh, occurred. Yeah, you know, I might also add, you know, that they will be looking at carjacking reports, uh, reports of carjacking, you know, to you know, vehicles that were not re recovered as a result of carjacking. 
you know, things like that, you know, in case it was carjacked, of course, but, um, you know, uh, but uh, where the suspect, where the uh, 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 victim uh, was not murdered, you know, but simply carjacked, and they just, you know, figure, hey, you know, no car is worth my life, here's, you know, here's, here it is, you know, I'm out of here. Or they get shoved out. Who knows, right? Mm. Yeah, or they or they get you know shoved out. Who knows? But um, they they figured that you know it's not worth their life, so they were not going to risk life and limb for that uh, for that vehicle. So right. Mm. Yeah, for that vehicle. Yeah, so right. You know, this they'll, they'll be looking at carjackings in the uh, actually, you know you would probably think you know, they they said it was a Colorado place, so obviously they'll be canvassing the whole state you know, for that. Well that's assuming it wasn't swapped out you know, too. So well in that in which case, you know, they'll actually be you know, they'll actually be canvassing the country and you know, looking for the VIN number. Uh, and canvassing the country for, you know, an owner of a vehicle matching that VIN number. They'll be canvassing the whole country for that. Yeah. Mm. She's the crime beat reporter there. Okay, guys, uh, we're now going to move on to the next build, which is the Oakenstead Mall here. Look at that. that looks excellent. Looks like an excellent place. So we're going to just go right straight into it. And I promise this time around there'll be less ranting and raving. Because uh, practically all of it, from the point the game joins, will be on the tour itself. I'll just add some audio commentary to to it as they go along. Any sort of gulping, by the way, you guys, you 
that you guys might hear is me drinking some, some water. So. Hopefully you shouldn't hear that too loudly. But just so you know. That music after the loading is a good sign. Okay. I like how she's she's taking the initiative to do things. She uh, here. I think I may still have her eat because she's going to uh, probably need it after a while. We're going to go downstairs in a minute. We'll check out what's in here. A toy store? A pet store? Uh, this is a better mall. What you would expect out of The Sims. A photography studio. And what's in here? A clothing store. Are these just mannequins? Okay, she is like wasn't sure if there was a mannequin or an actual sim. That I think is pretty self-explanatory. Okay, let's now go downstairs, get on the ground floor, is it going to let me do that?
Please let me get on the ground floor. Please let me get on the ground. You're not going to let me get on the ground. Well, that you can tell is an appliance store. That, uh, a movie set? Oh, no, not a movie set, but electronics. Oh, kind of a uh, studio? And now it's letting me get lower. That's interesting. I don't know too many places that have that. Okay. Let's go upstairs. Go back to free look. Since it will now, I can now do that. Store security? The mall security? Yeah, it looks like it. Something at a mall cop. Restroom. They're like watching TV. That's definitely something at a mall cop. Ah, uh, this is a movie theater. See? Movies. That is a, a Star Wars character. Uh, can't think of which one. I'm not, I'm more of a Trekkie myself. Ask me about Star Trek, I can tell you quite a bit. Probably not as much as some other people can. This is a toy store. Uh, is this a, yeah, this looks like a toy store. Kitty store. Store for kids. Really nice build. Athletic store? Okay. I think this is the other entrance to the movie theater. And there's a third floor. I think... Yeah, that's the kitty store. Yeah, that's the kitty store. Please let me get on the ground. I hate it when the camera does this. Oh, that's close. Some sort of candle store? With candles?
Thank you, finally. At near ground level. This is a music store. No question there. More of that music store. Sims will have fun in here. Mm, I want to say a spa, but I don't think that. I don't think that uh, would work. Maybe it is a spa. We just passed up a restroom. Come in, we're open. Not sure what's in here. Not sure what store this is, but this is fun. And there's a fourth floor. Which is just parking? Why would somebody take a stair to this? Why are these on the roof? I think I'm going to take them off of there. These serve, I don't think they serve any useful purpose there. That, I think, is a restroom. I think, no, that's the staircase. But these don't serve a purpose up here. You know, it's a parking, this, that's a parking lot. As you can see you got cars here. But yeah, those things have to go. Those things have to go. They don't serve a useful purpose here at all. And look, that one even blocks that car. If cars could move, guess what? If cars, they were not on the road, uh, were able to move, guess what? Well, he would probably be able to get out, perhaps. Uh, but it'd be awfully tight. So, okay, we'll see you in the next build.